Welcome to this tutorial on how to play Vincent by Ellie Golding. We're in standard tuning. There's no capo. Little disclaimer before we get started here. I'm just going to be teaching you one chord structure that is played throughout the song, and there are several chord structures. My intent is to just give you a general idea of the chords that are in the song and then the finger picking behind them. So with that said, let's talk about the chords we have here. We have an E chord, we have a C sharp minor, we have an F sharp, we have a G sharp minor, we have a different location for that F sharp chord. It's the same as this chord, just higher up on the fret here. And those are the main chords we're gonna have. There's also a B chord. So if you know how to play those cards, chords, not cards, and you're advanced, um, go ahead and skip ahead. For now, I'll give you an idea of how to play them if you're a beginner, as well as if you're advanced. Let's start out here with this B chord. So, if you're advanced, you can play it by barring your 2nd fret with your index finger from the 5th string down, and your ring finger will bar the 4th fret from the D string, so D, G, and the B string. You're going to mute that high E. Really, you're just interested in those couple strings there. If you are not a advanced guitar player, really all you need is this. You're going to need your pinky on the 4th fret of the B string. That's your 2nd string up, 1, 2 strings up. Ring finger on the 4th fret of the G, right above your pinky. And your index, if you can, stretch it all the way over to the 2nd fret of the A string, which is the 2nd string down from the top, 1, 2 strings down from the top. Okay, let's talk about this F chord. It's the same shape, just slid all the way up to the 9th fret, and again you can do the same thing. If you are a beginner, you can use your index to play the 9th fret of the A string while your pinky and your ring finger sit on the 11th fret of the G and B strings. Okay, so that's our B and our F chord. Um, the other F chord is this chord where your index is on the 2nd fret, it's barring the 2nd fret, and then you have this E shape on starting on the 3rd fret here, so your middle finger is on the 3rd fret of the G string, that's your 3rd string up, 1, 2, 3 strings up, ring finger is on the 4th fret of the A, pinky right under on the 4th fret of the D string. So that is just an alternative way to play this chord. octaves. Now we have our actual E shape, that's the same shape as this right here. We're just going to be playing that on the first fret here, so now your index is on the first fret of the G, middle finger is on the second fret of the A string, ring finger is on the second fret of the D. We'll play all six strings for that chord. And now one of the last chords we'll talk about here is this C minor chord. So if you're advanced, you can bar your 4th fret with your index finger from the 5th string down, so you're not barring this low E. Middle finger would be on the 5th fret of the B string, ring finger on the 6th fret of the D, pinky right under on the 6th fret of the G. And then that's it. So that's your C sharp minor if you're advanced. If you're not advanced and you can't bar, it's difficult for you to do that, go ahead and just pick your index finger up and play the root note on that A string, which is your C sharp. And if you can't do that, just play these three strings. Just your A minor slid all the way up to the fifth fret for a C sharp minor. And that's it. So those are the chords. Let's talk about the progression and the finger picking now. So, the song starts out like this. It goes B, holds it for a little bit, C sharp minor, holds it for a little bit, E, F sharp, and then it does this. So I want to walk through the finger picking for that and how exactly you should be playing that as well here. So let's start out um, with our B chord. You're going to play your B chord. One, two, 
three, four, to your C sharp minor, one, two, three, four, to your E, one, two, F sharp, three, four, and then it gets to this part where we start the finger picking, so we're gonna pick A, G, B, G, and that's on our B chord. Now we're gonna go to our E chord, and we're gonna pick E, G, B, G. And it just alternates between the B and the E chord. speed it sounds like this okay so you're gonna do that for two times and once you get back to this B chord you're gonna sit there for two so one two then we're gonna slide up to our C sharp minor we're gonna stay there for four so one two three four, and meanwhile it's the same strumming, just A, G, B, G, and then we're gonna go E, E, G, B, G, you do that once, slide to your F sharp, we're gonna go E, D, G, D, and then it goes back to this part where we're alternating between our B chord and our E chord. So just this part again. And then from there, we can go back to our C sharp minor. Jump all the way up to our ninth fret for our F sharp, or sorry, not our F sharp. Yeah, it is our F sharp actually. Sorry, F sharp chord, just a different form of it. Same chord over here. So we're gonna go C sharp minor. Down to our B. And if you can stretch, drop that index finger to the first fret go to this G sharp minor okay so I know that's a lot of chords uh, that's exactly why I didn't want to get into every chord progression but really uh, this song goes all over the place with the chords so I want to try and keep it as simple as possible but you're going again from your C sharp minor up to your F down to your B dropping your root note up to this G sharp minor. Okay, one more time, that progression sounds like this. Whoops. Okay, so that's the gist of it. I wanna go back to the original chord progression again one more time just so you remember that. So it starts out on our B chord, B chord, to your C sharp, for four, E for two, F for two, and then it goes to this part. And then after you do that, you can go to your C sharp minor, C sharp minor for four, to your E for two, F, and then back into the B to E. So that's the main progression right there. But there are a lot of deviations in there and it is hard to play along with. So I would recommend learning how to do that finger picking and then wait for Ultimate Guitar or a different site to come out with a chord structure that you can follow if you're really interested in playing the song. That's gonna be it for this tutorial. If you have questions, feel free to comment below. I'll do my best to answer them. 
If you enjoy this content, I would really appreciate it if you'd subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.